Hello, and welcome back to Dust and Lucy and Tail. We've just arrived in Denim Village and everything's on fire. There's lots of dead people everywhere, and apparently the enemy up ahead really, really doesn't like us. So we're gonna go deal with that. Oh, jeez. There are st uh, quite a frickin' ton of dead people. Oh, dear. Oh. Uh, you look new. So, you've come. Who are you? What have you done? You murdered all these innocent people. Ooh. You dare speak to me of innocence when you have so casually slain a countless number of my children. You mean the monsters? Your children? You're talking about those monsters back there? Who are you? So, you don't remember my name. Rest assured, my friend, this time, you will not so easily forget it. Who the hell are you? What? Oh. Oh shit, okay, I'm fighting him now? I don't care what your name is. You're no different than those monsters I fought before. And like them, you will fall to my blade. You are the only monster here, puppet. As I turn your bones to char. I'm sorry, this really, really, this place really, really reminds me of Voldemort from the Harry Potter musical. Now die! Yep. Okay. Oof. Whoa, when did this become a bullet hell? No! As long as I keep hitting him, he can't actually do anything. Except that. Oh, sugar, I died. Alrighty then. Keep a better eye on my health. And he hasn't even told me his name yet. Just that he wants to kill me and that I've murdered his children. So. Uh, skip. Resume. You. Skip. <laughs> yeah. That's a bit of overkill, don't you think? I don't care what Skip. That should be a way to like stun him. But he never comes close enough to actually attack me. He just... Ow! Jerk. No swarm. That was a little close to 
Ooh, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. I'm gonna get him this time. Ow. I got him. Still don't know his name. What? But can they reach the darkness within you? This isn't gonna make me bad, feel bad for killing the evil monster, is it? I have come to my end. Yes, you have. What are you? I told you I'd kill you. Among the last of a dying breed, a once proud race extinguished by your hand. My hands? <laughs> <coughs> you and your warm blooded kin. We moon bots were outcasts. So were you like reptiles? Scattered to the wind. You and others like you. They came to my village. Killed my family. I I didn't I can't remember. Am I am, am I the bad guy? Sadness in your eyes, but it is not guilt. It is loss. After all you've done to my kind, you still think only of yourself. Perhaps that is for the best. Your leader, Gaius, he led you and your fellow assassins into battle. Assassins. His own kind, our greatest allies amongst the warm bloods. But one escaped. She was the only one I would dare spare in the slaughter that was to come. She? Who are you talking about? Who did I kill? <sighs> Who knows? Who sees? Wait, no. Hey. My vision has left me. I return now to the life thread and to my brethren. No, no, wait! Farewell, warm blood. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. Wow. Whoops. <laughs> kind of ruined the moment there. We did it. He did what? I was Fidget. He'd seen me before. If only he'd lived a moment longer. If only I'd managed to keep him alive somehow. As you can see by the dead littering this village, that would not have been a good idea. But... I'm sure you're right. We should return to Aurora and report to Mayor Bram. There was also that name. Gaius. Gaius. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Dust, during the battle, I was studying Fuse's attacks. Well, his name is Fuse. I, I might have picked up on his technique. Really? I've got a feeling we'll need it. Those monsters likely won't let us leave without a fight. <laughs> Fidget has acquired a new projectile type. Press RB to cycle through Fidget's available projectiles. Oh. Ah! Wow. Okay. That's pretty cool. What about Mosca's girlfriend? Are we just going to assume she's dead? Let's Ooh, that is really cool, Fidget. A plus. Hmm. More monsters. Mm hmm What's the problem? Well, you did say they were his children. Children or not, they don't look all that happy to see us. True. Hey, ugly! Are you gonna play nice? <laughs> There's just no pleasing some people. Well, you did call him ugly. It was a valiant effort, Fidget. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's really cool. <laughs> all right, I have a skill gem. Uh, HP. Yes. He. I don't know how many of those I 
have now. A page! A save point! You are too good to me, game. Okay. The challenges and creatures within are unlike anything you've dealt with before. Death will come swiftly if you are not prepared. Okay. I think I've heard of these arenas. It's rumored they contain precious treasures. Hey, your memory's coming back. Just little bits here and there. Think we should go in? Uh. Um, I certainly hope you see. Well, is there another way to go? Oh, there is. Okay. I don't think I'm going to go into any arena right now. Meanwhile, far to the north. Huh. Sir, the preparations are nearly complete. We found another of their camps, but... But it was deserted, of course. Keep up your search. They're going somewhere, and we need to know where that is. Of course, sir. If that's all. What of the rumors, Commander? Is there any truth to them at all? We are investigating, sir. But surely you don't believe. Commander, it is not your place to question what I believe. Our moment of glory draws near, and I want results. Who are you? As you wish, General. Are you Gaius? Are you a king? Where are you, my friend? Why are you hiding from me? Am I your friend? Uh... We need to head back to Aurora, I guess. But, at the same time, we never did rescue uh, Corbin. Now. Nah. Whoops! That was the wrong thing, but Super Meat Boy is here somewhere. No. We are leaving. Oh yeah, I have your imp head. Imp head high pit. Like what you Here want. Here are those materials. Great! Here's your payment. If you're willing, I could use your help again. I'd like to upgrade our weapons. Beast spears, while primitive, have finely chiseled stone tips that we can use for arrowheads. If you could bring me eight beast spears, I'll buy them for a high price. Sure. Please, let me know. I'll keep. Much appreciated. I'll be waiting right here. Right. So now he wants beast spears. Hello, I need to talk to you. <laughs> it's great to see you back, son. I knew you could do it. The monsters have already calmed their advance. Tell me, what happened? Did you confront their leader? I did. He was right where you said he'd be. In fact, he seemed to be waiting for us. Waiting? In the middle of a small village, surrounded by the innocents he killed. Oh no. That could only be Denham Village. Uh, did you find any survivors? No. I'm sorry, Mayor Bram, but there were none. This creature that attacked the village, he was some kind of lizard. Aw, we have to go break it to Mosca now. Himself Used. That's gonna be sad. A lizard, you say? Hmm. A moonblood, perhaps. I wonder if Ginger would know anything about that. Ginger? That girl up on the hill? Her family was killed almost a year ago in Zeplik village, a few days journey to the north. General Gaius and his soldiers were looking so for So that is General Gaius, then. General Gaius? Do you know who he is? Not personally. His is not a name we utter here without proper cause. I've never seen him or his soldiers personally, but tragedy tends to follow in their wake. Fair enough. So why did they kill Ginger's family? They were helping the Moonbloods, of course. Helping the enemy is a treasonous offense. Ginger escaped, but her parents and her brother 
did not. Regardless, hmm. I can't thank you enough for putting a stop to that mad beast before he came any closer to Aurora. If you want to ask Ginger about Fuse, I'd suggest you hurry. It looked like she was preparing to leave town for a while. Good luck. Okay. Somehow I don't think she's gonna talk to um talk to me, considering I did work for the person who reportedly killed her parents and her brother. Chest. Oh, got a locket. Hi, Colleen. I still haven't found your brother. Do you... You probably sell... Welcome back. Yes. Do you have any of the... You have three of them. Okay. Uh, can I sell you anything that you don't have? Oh. No, this. That's everything. Honor yep. Thank you. Oh, Oneida! Hello. What do you want? Oh, Dust! We are indebted to you for what you've done for us. Gian and I are just going to rest for a bit here in Aurora. Actually, maybe you could speak with him? He would never admit it to me, but I just know something is troubling him. Of course. Where is he now? He's been pacing near the west entrance of the village, near the field where you rescued us. Thank you, Dust, for everything. Okay. Oh. I don't get it! Why would anyone want to help those awful lizard things? That fuse guy burned down an entire village! Don't you understand, Fidget? He wasn't born that way. General Gaius and his soldiers turned him into that monster. Uh huh. And Fuse is likely not the only one corrupted by General Gaius's hatred of the Moonbloods. We should speak to Ginger again to learn more about this conflict. That's what I was going to do before you guys interrupted me. Ginger? Ginger? Hey, there you are. Hello? Talk to me. Oh, you again. Mayor Bram said you'd left already. Yes, he asked us to stop the leader of these monsters. Turns out it was a moonblood named Fuse. He'd gone completely insane. Fuse? Oh no. He was leading those monsters? You killed him? So you know him then? Was he always a homicidal pyromaniac? Probably not. Wait, no, never! Why did you kill him? Because he was trying to kill me. He in village, Ginger. Slaughtered dozens of innocent people. He refused to listen to reason and planned to attack Aurora next. I had to stop him. This war is turning all of us into monsters. Thank you, Ben, for releasing Fuse from his madness. Mm -hmm. Right before the end, he seemed lucid. He told me a few things before he passed. He tried to tell me about the war, about your family. He was there the day my family was killed, yes. He was picking up supplies to bring back to his people. General Gaius attacked our village, burned it to the ground. I thought Fuse had been killed. Now I wish he had. I'm sorry. And why is that? The last time I saw an outfit like yours was the day my family was murdered. That outfit, it belongs to Gaius' soldiers. Who are you, really? I have no I idea. I don't <laughs> know. That is not an answer! Well, I'm sorry, I seem to have so. complete amnesia. Just remember, okay? <laughs> he doesn't even know his real name! You know, you should be more thankful. He just saved this village twice, and I... Well, I watched him do it. And I'm also really hungry! You tell her, Fidget. Get, please uh, Fidget. calm down. She's right to be suspicious. I don't know who I am, but I'm dressed as one of Gaius' soldiers. And that can't be good. Perhaps. But your friend is right. You saved my village twice today. Gaius and his soldiers would never do that. Especially if they knew I was here. Um, tell me about the war. Why is Gaius so obsessed with killing these moonbloods? What do they do? Nothing. They exist. General Gaius sees them as an impurity. A kind of cosmic mistake that he believes must be wiped from this world. That I've sounds tried to terrible. Help where I can, but it's hard. There aren't many moonbloods left outside of their homeland. And it's only a matter of time before Gaius wipes them out entirely. Is there anything I can do to help? 
If only one man could stand against an army. Sadly, no. There's nothing any of us can do. Any hope for the Moonbloods died with my family. Okay, why are you Mayor leaving town? Mayor mentioned you were leaving town. Yes. The rivers and streams around Aurora are beginning to dry up completely. Without water, the only thing to do is head north. It's only a matter of time before the others follow me. Why would the rivers all be drying up? It's not like it's been very hot. And wasn't there a big rainstorm a little while ago? I know, it doesn't make any sense. To be honest, I think this whole country is cursed. General Gaius' bloodlust has scorched this land forever. I doubt we'll ever recover. Wow. Uh, do you know where he is? If the only way to stop this war is to stop General Gaius, then I need to know where to find him. His campaign continues to the north. If you want to help right the wrongs of your kind, you're free to join me. I'm afraid. Whoa! What was that? Whoa! What was that? <laughs> it came from the center of the village! Oh, what the hell? What? what are these things? Monsters! Ginger, get down! This is kind of anticlimactic when I can just like jump at them and kill them. That's the last of them. Ginger, are you okay? I'm. I'll be fine. You should go down below and find out what's happening. All right. You shouldn't stay here, Ginger. It's too dangerous. Head north. We'll catch up with you after we've gotten to the bottom of this. Yes, we will. Stay safe, Dust. We'll meet again at Rowan Pass, at the foot of the Blackmore Mountains. Okay. See you later. Uh, we're gonna go check out. I'm gonna pick up this loot, and then we're gonna go check out what happened down there next time. Thanks for watching. I've been Mochi. This has been Dust and Elysium Tale. And I will see you next time.